always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. 516. Good morning for those just joining us. Uh, we got to get a check of the weather so we can plan the day accordingly. Wednesday, Adam, how's it feeling out there? Yeah, middle of the week, Alex, but unfortunately not much change in the weather world. We are seeing some pretty quiet conditions out there to start your morning off. Also, a lot of humidity, very stagnant air across the area, and that's because high pressure is keeping things from really moving about. And that's what happens in summertime. We really don't see much air movement. But that humidity, those warm temperatures, they're going to be with us for the rest of your morning. It's 79 degrees right now in Lafayette. We see those temperatures coming up into the 80s by 8 o'clock this morning. Now again, lots of sunshine expected out there. Just a passing cloud or two. On radar, not seeing anything right now. We're not going to see anything out there through the rest of today. So it becomes a temperature forecast for you. And here's how things shape up. 7 o'clock this morning, we're in the 70s, the upper 70s. In fact, these temperatures may be a few degrees too low there. By the time we hit 8, 9 o'clock, we're starting to warm into the mid and upper 80s. It takes no time at all for those temperatures to get toasty. This is now at 11 o'clock. And look, 91 in Lafayette. 91 in Bro Bridge and Abbeville, 92 is what the forecast is in New Iberia. Let's go past lunchtime into the afternoon. Oh, this is just a miserable looking map. Mid 90s, 95 in Lafayette, 96 in New Iberia and Bro Bridge. And then we get into the afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock. We'll be in the upper 90s in many areas before finally we start to see those temperatures gradually coming on down towards the evening. And of course, to add insult to injury, high humidity, it's going to make it feel a whole lot warmer than that. 110 to 112 at times as we head through the afternoon hours today. So that is dangerous heat. Another heat advisory in place starting at 11 o'clock this morning, going until 7 p.m. Stay hydrated, drink plenty of water out there. But later on, as we head into the overnight, well, we're not going to see any relief. Very similar to today with those temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. And then tomorrow we see another day of that excessive heat. 98 for a daytime high there with just a few clouds in the sky. But there is hope on the horizon. As we end the week, we finally start to see some rain chances, and really, they jump up. Now, if you joined me yesterday, I was mentioning that models were kind of questioning what would happen this weekend. Some models were saying it was going to be a more wet weekend. Others saying it would be drier. Well, now models have come into more agreement that we see higher rain chances here starting on Saturday, going into next week. That drops our temperatures in the afternoon to the low to mid 90s. So some improvement there, but we got to get through a few more days of this excessive heat, Alex. Oh, but we do. OK, Adam, we will do that uh, with our water and sunscreen in hand. Thank you very much. Well,